Hi guys, I'm Mo, welcome back to my art channel. Today I thought, let's try a fun challenge. Finding the idea for an illustration or an artwork is always, in my opinion, the hardest part. I thought a fun challenge for today would be to jump on the starting page or the front page of Pinterest and just find some ideas. <coughs> and probably most of you already know about Pinterest on the front page shows you what it thinks you will like. Really scary actually that most of the things are pretty close to what I like. And you know I'm not looking for anything specific so I'm just actually just browsing and, and see if I will come up with something cool. Somehow I like I like the pose of this girl. And I like her little bag here, so maybe we could turn this into something. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open all the pictures that I like into a new tab so I can instantly see them. Um, because it happens a lot to me that I accidentally closed tabs on Pinterest and they're gone and it's so hard to find them again. So, um, you know, always try to make a new tab if you do something like that. Since we now have this cool sitting pose, I want to have something the girl could sit on and so we can turn this into like an idea or something. I think that's like kind of creepy but also interesting like these these head shapes. I'm not 100% happy yet with these so hmm. I like this horse. I, I think I've never drawn a horse so that would definitely be a challenge but what I like about this horse is that it has these different colors and it looks like the legs of the horse are like like these raindroppy shapes. So here's our mood board that I just created. And that's something I like to do lately because instead of like having all these tabs open and switching in between them, when you put them into Photoshop, you can like zoom in on, on all of these, but you could also look at all of them at once to just get an idea. Um, I wanna really do just some quick doodles. Mm, yeah. Let's go! This is me drawing or trying to draw a horse and as I said before I've never drawn a horse before and so it turns out that it's just not a as good looking as I wanted it to be and so I said okay screw the idea uh, I'm just gonna focus on drawing the head of the horse and then um, I'm gonna draw a figure on top of that but somehow this really wasn't working out as well so yeah, I, I came back to the uh, rabbit hat idea, which I also didn't like. And after the two failed drawings, I went back into my comfort zone and did like a quick drawing of the girl. Um, because after like you fail a couple of times with a drawing, it's always great to come back to your comfort zone. And uh, I thought like these raindroppy shapes of the horse could be something I can draw on the... Uh, bottom part of the girl, but it, it's not the greatest idea ever. Let's face it. So at this stage I was like uh, So close to give up, but, but I, I kind of like the girl So I stayed with the idea and said to myself, okay one last try to make the horse idea working and Spoiler it did not work So I got rid of the horse and just drew the girl on some kind of a small planet uh, and with um, clouds and stuff, which is way more in my comfort zone and I kind of like the aesthetics. Sometimes you just have to change small things and so yeah, this is our sketch that we want to go further with. These sketches took me way, 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 way longer than I would like. I'm getting tired, I can't talk anymore, so let's continue with the drawing. Okay guys, so I just realized that I have to continue talking while you watch uh, me drawing here, but that's totally okay. You know, I always like to start with the face because I think if you screw up the eyes or something, um, it, it will show up later and uh, yeah, there's not a lot that you can do. Um, if the eyes are bad already, uh, it can throw off your whole drawing. And, and then I like to continue with the hair. As I don't know, but it feels like I cheated a bit on this challenge because I said I'm gonna do drawings of the um, pictures that I find on Pinterest 
Uh, so on one hand it feels like I was cheating a bit by completely going back into my comfort zone with like removing the horse and drawing a planet instead but um, on the other hand I think uh, maybe the process isn't that important um, if you want to find inspiration so it's just like the end product that counts um, so I'm not 100% sure at this point because you know if because maybe one day you will get um, approached by someone who wants to commission you to draw something and, and they maybe want to have a horse in this artwork that they commission you to do and then you can say okay I can't draw horses you have to go and put in a time to learn how to draw horses but like for personal artwork it, it's okay I guess but um, yeah maybe you should or I should have put in the time to draw the horse um, yeah but somehow I'm, I'm like really happy that I found an idea that worked for me and I'm, I'm kind of happy how the drawing turned out especially with this this um, planet underneath I think it fits the character really good what you see me doing here is like actually I'm, I'm doing a lot a lot of, of tries before I go with the final line that's just because I like to use all the advantages that digital art offers um, and that's just like you can go back uh, control Z my best friend control Z and then just try again and if that still sucks you try again and try again it can actually be really um, not that super time efficient because you will redraw parts several times but um, yeah it's just the way I work for years now and um, this is our final line work and I hope you like it so um, I'm gonna do some quick coloring and uh, hopefully you will <laughs> like the end result and uh, don't mind the cheating too much guys but let me definitely know what you think down in the comments if you think it's okay what I did or if you think that I cheated uh, for the colors by the way I wanted to stay pretty close to the color scheme that I used in my latest artwork because usually I use these pinkish purpley um, reddish toned colors they have been my favorite for quite some time but my latest artwork was an artwork where I tried this bluish bluish purpley in contrast with greens and so um, I really like this color scheme at the moment and so I, I wanted to try it again um, and see if it works for other artworks as well and that's the, always the thing I like to have like some kind of an order with my Instagram feed and don't like if, if all my artworks have completely different colors because uh, when you look at the feed overall it looks really really like chaotic and I really don't like that so I'm always striving to have a similar um, color scheme at least for some time and yeah that's basically the idea behind behind that and and I'm, I'm pretty happy how the colors turned out and I'm, I'm I think I will do this color scheme for for a couple of my other artworks as well before I switch to something new um, and yeah the last step is usually that I, I do some shading really minimal these days uh, I don't like this over you know painted or shaded look for my artwork and this is the end result so here we are guys this is our final artwork and as I said at the beginning of the video that probably what we're gonna do today will end up looking completely different from what I expected it to look like but I don't mind that because it's one of the most fun things about art that you when you started drawing don't know what you will actually have at the end of the day uh, and that's so exciting for me and I hope for you as well if you want to see more of my work guys go to my Instagram where I post all of my finished artwork um, almost every second day or so and if you want to learn how to draw uh, take a look at my Patreon where I post exclusive videos and tutorials and share my sketches with you. Um, I would really appreciate that and otherwise I will see you in my next video guys. Bye bye!